Okay, so this is what we got. So we took a wrap. No, we uh, we took our template. We wrapped um, two layers in two different colors. We are turn it into like a nice piece. Now it's wrapped tightly. I don't have any bubbles here. It's pretty much it's I, I feel it with my hands that it's very even. It's not too wet. So you can see that you, you get this form. But um You feel it's not soapy enough so we will take that net it needs to be soapy and I take the bar this is like just a bar of soap it's olive soap with some olive oil or whatever and you want to be soapy when I'm talking with my students about what the consistency it should remind you like a shaving cream consistent. See how nothing is actually leaking anywhere. But it has a, a nice like little thick bubbles. I don't know. Let's do it on the other side too. to think about decor so there are many 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 different ways how you decorate your felted pieces and um, I'm not going to do anything <laughs> because um, it's up to you how you're going to do it I don't know it will be too late so I can cut a little carve a little holes here and Put some stitching of beads or anything I want. Sometimes you can take different other wool or different other fiber and put it on top and bond it together with wool. Even pieces of silk you can use. Or, uh, but for the little project like that, I don't know, I kind of think it, it's nice to have it. Um, just to give yourself lots of options. Plus, you know, you felt that it's already ready. And uh, when it's dry, I don't know, sometimes you can just take another step and think about it, how you want to decorate it. And maybe you want to put some, I don't know, it's up to you. So it will be another uh, project, so which you will be doing. So I, for example, show you how I decorated the purse because it's, uh, with two layers I made a cut little leaves and but I felt it separate uh, flowers and put it there this little pouch I decorated with like some stitching this one I ahead of the time I put some I don't know I think it was um, piece of wool, piece of silk, and I covered it with like some fleece or some other wool and I bound it together and then open it like that. I can show you. My bracelets, I um, like uh, to do little felted bracelets. So this one has um, beads. See how it just like has little beads, it's cute. But you have to felt like flowers separate that and I put it on. This one is even more advanced. I needed um, crochet, the edges, and I combined like crocheting and felting. It's not even finished yet. I'm still working on it. Uh, this one, by the way, I just found some sticker. 
and I attached it. You can glue it or you can, um, they have like some iron on things. So I just, in this video, I just don't want to focus on that because it will be a whole another story. You can do three dimensional, one dimensional, anything you want. You can needle felt something when it's dry. You can take a needle and attach, uh, make some image here, like picture. What's next? Next, again, uh, here's the deal. I'm using a sander. My sander looks like that. It's uh, will be Makita or Master Force. If I switch it on right now, it will be extremely loud. So I don't want you to hear that noise. So what I would do, I will just step on my pouch and press it a little bit and hold about hold it about 10 seconds. After that, I made a little step and I press a little bit and hold it another 10 seconds. I will not press too hard on the edge because I don't want to see that seam so much. I will treat the edge separately. But uh, this is what I'm going to do. If you don't have a sander, you probably don't actually have a bubble wrap there attached, like some old piece of bubble wrap, just to agitate all that uh, layers of wool it helps. What does it, what it does for me, it just saves my time. It just does everything a little bit faster. So I go this way, this way, like around here, everywhere. Then I turn this piece around and do it on the other side. As you can see, I use a piece of plastic here some garbage bag or whatever, just not let the water splash on the sander. If you don't have the sander, it's not a big deal. You really can do everything with your hands or just with the help of a little bit of something. Whatever you find around your house is fine. If you don't any, have anything around your house, this is, I think, was from the dollar store. Just like a such a cheap simple thing you just do that and you do it and you do it different directions and you do it don't take this pie out of the oven before it's actually baked because what's the risk? The risk is you start manipulating and all will fall apart. So we have to be sure that everything bonded. How to be sure? It's a tricky one. I mean, I will take it off, use my gloves, be gentle. It's a, I always say my students right now, it's a baby. You just have to be gentle. You take it and you see how care still comes out. It's nothing, nothing really happened yet. So the best way to say, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes the inside wool will start coming outside. It means that everything is crawling into each other, slowly but surely. You can also do it with your hand. Just try not to move the wool so much. So like first you rub it slightly and then you can go a little bit deeply. Bubbled water, soap water, or little like bubbles helps all the wool to be mixed together. You can probably use it right here, but I wouldn't. I will still use a plastic, piece of plastic. So you're done in one side. You'll turn it around and do it on the other side. A little bit better. Now see how, I just see how that wool start getting a little bit together, but still not yet. Keep rubbing. Keep rubbing. And press it with your fingers. In the small project like that, you can easily do just with your hands. The bigger project, I have another tools which I'm using. 
It's not so easy to do slippers, for example. There's a special tool to do that. But for the small project like that, you can easily do it with your hands. So by the way, the edge, best way to treat the edge is just to do that. And you do it and you rub it. And you rub it and you rub it. Okay, it will take a while. I want to show you how it should look at the end when I'm done. When I'm done. So give me 15 minutes. I mean, you can just press uh, the button and watch my next video. But for the next 15 minutes, I'll be working on this piece this way. I, at that point, I will not fold it or do it, roll it, pull it, do anything. All I do is I press. I press and rub to make it kind of a thick, nice, solid piece of felt. Okay, so let me... I'll see you.